Good morning, this is Mark Millett coming to you from Bucharest, Romania. And uh, I've got a little song I want to sing a little bit of it to you, and I think you know this song pretty well. It goes, Oh, to Lord Jesus, I surrender. All to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. Sing it with me. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I Hi, let's continue on with our study in the scriptures in 1 Corinthians on the Lord's Supper. And healing we find in the body of Christ, in the broken body of Christ. Now I'm going to read this to you. I know some of you have never heard this before. Uh, and it was a shock to me when my wife asked me one day. She said, Martin, how come so many people are sick and diseased in the churches, in the so-called church? And I told her, I said, there's one cause. The Bible said for this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Now, if we can turn that cause around, then that would, the opposite of that would be, many are strong, not weak, many are healthy, not sickly, and many live instead of die or sleep, as the scripture says it. But let's read something to you in this text, and I want you to learn the text. You have to receive the word of the New Testament, and all through the scriptures, in its text. Context. You can't just pull one scripture out. Now, if you want to live a Christian life that's pleasing to the Lord, you have to get your doctrine, you have to get your uh, the way of life, the New Testament way of life, from the epistles that Paul gave to the church. Okay? If you try to live in the book of Matthew, you're going to get all messed up. Amen? You'll be sitting on a mountain somewhere trying to pray for people and hold your hands up and bless them when God didn't call you to do that. Or you'd be trying to walk on the water. God didn't tell you to walk on the water. Amen. He said that we're to be fountains of living water springing out of us, which is a type of the Holy Spirit living his life and having access and having liberty for Christ to live his life through you. Okay. And that's the Christian life. It's not about religion. It's about relationships. So listen to what this says right here. In verse 26, it said, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. That's why the devil hates for you to take the Lord's Supper and to remember the Lord's death because he knows he was defeated at Calvary. Amen? And look what else it says. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily. Now listen, worthily in, the, in Romanian says in an unworthy manner. Okay, not unworthy as the person, because bless your heart, there's none of us worthy if it wasn't for the precious blood of Jesus Christ who gives us his righteousness. So he's talking about eating the way they ate. They ate because they were hungry. They ate in front of the people that were uh, hungry, and, and they ate their food. They gobbled it down. They got drunk. They were doing it as a ritual. They were doing it as a religious practice. You know, every first Sunday of the month we take the Lord's Supper. They don't know what they're taking it for, but that's what we do. It's a religious ritual rather than receiving it as a blessing from the Lord. I hope I'm making sense to you. Don't get mad at me and shut me off. Listen to me. Let me finish, okay? So, he says that whosoever will take this in an unworthy manner, okay, shall, is, shall be guilty of the Lord's body and his blood, the blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself. So why am I taking the Lord's body? Why am, I, or the body? why am I partaking of his blood and of his body? That's what he called it. Now, I know we're not talking about substantiation, like the, like the Catholic priests come out and go hocus pocus and it's supposed to turn into his literal body. I'm not talking about that. But I'm not talking about just an old piece of bread that you pick up. If you don't eat it, make a sandwich out of it and eat it or throw it on the floor, throw it, give it to the dog. I'm not talking about that. You, there's two ditches on each side. You need to get in the middles where the cross is. Amen? In the middle. Okay? And when you take that bread in your hand, you are touching 
the most dearest expression of God's love that He can give towards you. And if you'll meditate about it and think about it, what it means and what His body, discern His body. Now, the reason that they were sick and died and were weak is because they didn't discern the Lord's body. It was a ritual. His body was broken. They ate the lamb. This is where this came from out of Exodus. And this is what the Lord, they, all of them kept the Passover. That was their main feast, was the Passover feast. And so when it came in the New Testament, Paul said, The Lord gave me this for the church. You remember to do this as oft as you do it. You can do it every day. You can do it twice a day. You can do it once a year. But he says, as oft as you do this in remembrance of my death. The church I went to for many years, we didn't take the Lord's Supper for maybe once a year. And one day the pastor told me this. He said, well, bless God, it's a good thing we didn't take the... the Lord, he didn't say bless God, but he says, it's a good thing you didn't take it, brother. You'd be dead. I'm thinking, why would I be dead? Is there something in my life that God hadn't revealed to me? But, you know, the Bible says in an unworthy manner. So that means if I discern the Lord's body, what he's done for me... And what the body means for me, I discern it, I understand it, I can apply it to my life. It becomes a practical and personal application to me. Okay? And then through that, I regain strength, health, I can live a prosperous life because of His broken body. He makes me whole. He was broken, that I may be made whole. He became sin, that I may become His righteousness. He went to hell so I could go to heaven. He died so I could live. Are you listening? He became poor that I might have an abundant life. Yes. He bought back everything that Adam lost, and he's given it to you. Now, what are you going to do about it? Amen? Be with us tomorrow, and I promise you I'll continue on with the study of the Lord's Supper and how that you can have health and healing through the body, the broken body of our Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.